This is a quick look at the Lenovo ThinkPad W541. Um, uh, we've gone for the SSD option on this, so the drive is pretty damn quick. Um, it's got 16 gig of RAM, uh, and this is the 15-inch uh, screen. It's got a sort of a, a keyboard with the number pad on it, which I wasn't sort of keen on at first, but it's grown on me. Um, the keyboard is lovely to type on, actually. Um, so dead pleased with that. Um, the trackpad, not so much uh, bothered about that. The um, I'm getting used to it, but the uh, the clicking um, on these on this lower side, I, I could do with dedicated buttons like the um, the, the T40 I had before. Was it a T40 T60? The previous one have dedicated buttons down at the bottom. Um, I'm getting a bit more used to clicking at the top, but it's still. I used to click with my thumb, so that's not as uh, not as good. It's got color calibration built in, uh, which I've used once, uh, but I don't do color sensitive work. Uh, maybe that's more useful for people who are using Photoshop all the time uh, and uh, doing sort of image editing. Uh, <clears throat> fingerprint reader, which I don't use either. Coming around to the side, a couple of USB ports. One of those is certainly USB 3. Um, I'm not sure which is which. I wish they'd kind of colour these. Um, usually put a blue one in, that doesn't quite look blue. But that's got SS on it, so I guess that's the super speed. And that may be just USB 2. Uh, coming around to the back, got the network port. And this one looks like a USB port, but it's the new sort of rectangular power port. Um, grills for the fan which gets noisy under full load you'll certainly notice it in quiet environments I don't notice it work, at work but I do at home uh, then the lightning port VGA two more USB ports one rated for delivering more power or amps to uh, like an external device for maybe charging your phone then an SD card reader, which uh, if I put an SD card in at the moment it will blue screen the laptop because of some conflict with McAfee, which is great. Uh, and then we've got a combined headphone, uh, no, microphone and headset socket, so you can do both in that port. And nothing around at the front. The speakers are really weak. Um, they used to be pretty good on the, the old one I had. There's no speaker grills on the top anymore, they're, they're these kind of weedy little cuts on the edges. Uh, so you'll probably want to invest in some proper little speakers if you're, if you're interested in getting better sound out of these. Um, oh yeah, I'll flip it over. On the bottom, got a docking connector couple of panels to access the insides. I'm guessing one's the, uh, I think it's got M2 uh, memory slot or SSD kind of slot. Um, and the other ones will be drive bays and, uh, and standard memory. That's what's underneath. All in all, a good laptop, nice and speedy, noisy on the noisy side, um, but that's not too much of a worry. Battery life's pretty good, especially with the extended battery like that. That's it.